Oh, there's another hit. Oh, yep. Yeah. On. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Oh, that was a better one. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you got me under a rock. He's out. Yeah, guys, welcome back to another episode of Luke's Fishing Mission. I'm at the Pioneer Valley today again, Paddle Creek. I had a ball last time I was here. Got about 15 sooties, mostly on top water. It's very overcast conditions today, so it will lend itself very well to kayaking. This stretch again, um, with top water lures, the water level is a perfect height, so it's not too fast that it's dangerous. And it's not too slow that you've got to drag your kayak all the time. It's pretty well perfect. When everything marries up like this, you come out to this spot because it only happens a few times a year. So using surface water in the, this morning, um, the cloud is going to aid in that, like I said. Uh, we'll see how we go. But um, big shout out to Six Knights, my man Eric over in the US. Mate, thank you for the shirt. It looks awesome, fits great, and we'll see if it brings me some luck today. Cheers. Oh, fish there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another hit. Oh, yep. On. Woohoo! First city of the day. Nice. Just an average one for here, but beautiful start. Sort of like 10 minutes in, I've had a couple of hits. And now the first fish, Sooty Grunter. This one's for you, Eric. Cheers, bro. All right find a little place to pull up. He's right where he should have been too. Here, next to this rock, there's a bit of flow going around. He would have been sitting in the pressure point on this rock, and he came out and nailed it. All right, here we go. First city grunter. Not a bad little fish. Good start. Little black football. Check him out. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's a better one. Good fish. Oh, he's a better fish too. Right on that log. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. Pulling me in here too, isn't he? Woo! All right. He's a better fish. Oh, yeah, he's chunky. Woo! He's a nugget. There we go, guys. A beautiful little sooty, actually. He's probably better than little. He's, um... He's quite an average size, he's decent. He'd be high 30s, if not 40 centimeters. Came straight off that log over there. You would have seen the strike. He was right where he should have been. You basically had to get those cranks on that reel real quick to get him out of there because he was about to bury me under there. So he's a better size fish for this area. Um, not as thick as the usual ones, but he's certainly longer. He'd be close to 40 centimeters. So he's certainly a better fish for this creek and hope to get a few more like this today, but certainly happy. Caught two now and had a few other strikes as well. Toddy, who's holding the camera, is yet to uh, trouble the scorers, but hopefully soon. Oh, out in the middle of nowhere. She's a good fish. Oh, one hook just came out. I felt it. Oh, nice, Sooty. Jeez, they hit hard and like way out from the structure. So I didn't even have the camera on because I wasn't even expecting to get hit where I did, just in the middle of the water. And it's a good fish, it's solid. Mid, mid Toddy just got his first sooty of the day. He just changed over to a little uh, little diver as well. So that might be a sign of things to come. He just had a hit on the diver and then he, you know, we just got a little fish on the diver. It's his first one today and the first one you bought out of the kayak. You've never caught one before? First uh, kayak fish, that is correct. Let me, uh... Yeah, probably get the pliers into it first, mate. Get the hook out so it doesn't get a hook in your finger. Oh, yeah. And then hold him up if you want. I might try a little hard body down myself. I was starting to think that. These holes have got some really good deep water in them. 
He's engulfed it. Looks like a little Atomic Crank 38 actually. Pull him up mate. A little chunky fish eh? Probably about 30, but certainly um, nuggety. Very healthy. Just smashed it? Yeah, absolutely took it from the snag here. Yep, ran nice. Ran out and hit it hard and he tried to bury me back into, the, into that timber. And he gave you a little bit of a toe. Oh. Oh yeah, he pulled me in. <laughs> Very strong. He pulled you in, not you pulled him in. Oh man, I had a little motor on the front of this uh, kayak, yeah. Good to see you, Toddy. Well done. I'll, uh, I'm going to change to a hard body too. I'm going to try the little atomic shiner in the 60 mil. get it down nice and deep. Sun's come up a little bit and whilst you can use surface most of the day here, if not all day, I feel it slowing up and there's some depth to these holes here. So um, I'm going to try this guy here, see if we can get a few more fish numbers. Oh, I had a hit. Oh, yep. It's not. Whoa, what's going on? What the hell? Is there a log out here or something? Got me under a log, is he? He's definitely off. He's still on. Yeah, I'm still on. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a log. Yes, yeah, the sooty, I can see him. There he is. Well, that was literally third cast after changing to the little hard body, to the little atomic shiner 60 mil. That's awesome. That just reaffirms what I was thinking the whole time. Like I said, we've caught them all day here before on top water and it's fun. But it does slow down and when there's deeper water, I feel sometimes we don't fish them as thoroughly, these ponds. So getting down with a little hard body and that was literally third cast in. Toddy just caught one and lost another one or had another hit so as well on, on um, hards diving down. So I think it's a very good idea to change. I think it was a good call. Change it up. It's probably worth noting that I literally just fished this snag with top water over the top of it, didn't get a touch. And then as soon as I put the hard body on and got down to that different depth of water, bang, fish on. So don't be scared to change it up. Fish every water hole thoroughly. Don't keep going past them as we have been with just with top water and not getting the bite. Change it up or one of you try something different to see what works. Oh yeah, on. Right where I thought they'd be. Sooties love pushing up against the flow. You got rapids coming down there. There'll be fish schooled up at the bottom of that. Oxygenated water, food coming to them, flow looking to move upstream. And there was a little sooty there. Look at him. I hooked him in the head, bro. <laughs> like a livey. Look at this guy. Tiny. Go do some growing, mate. You got some growing to do. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right on cue. It's not doing much. There we go. Now he is. Sweet. Getting some numbers now. He's a bit lighter, this guy. Come here, mate. Are you on as well? Got a double hookup. I've got one. Toddy's got one over there. It's a little fella. See you later. A little bit of a confluence of a little creek coming out into the main channel, a bit of flow. Hoping there's a fish here. Oh, geez, I'm drifting pretty quick. Bit of earthworks up. Oh, yeah, there's a fish. There's a fish. Thought there'd be one there. And there was, right in front of that little confluence of that little creek. Awesome. Oh. Don't get me in the grass. Oh. Hooked in the bottom. Not literally the bottom, but the underside. Fowl hooked a little bit. It's all right. It's number seven for me. I think Toddy's got two. But the first three I got on top water, they were cool. But the next four I've caught have been on hard body and they've sort of been in the last sort of 45 minutes. They've been far quicker the bites on the uh, on the divers. Certainly pays to change it, even though it's not as exciting. Change to what's working.
Guys, this has probably got to be my favorite stretch of the whole 12 kilometer trip we're doing today. Big undercut bank on that left side, overhanging trees, shade, structure, flow. It's got everything and there's big boulders you'll see in a second when we come around the corner out in the middle of the stream. It's the prettiest place, probably stop and have a bit of a swim even here, but we should definitely get a couple of fish out of this. It's a log right, lying right there in the shade. I'll just twitch, twitch. Yep, and on. Twitch, twitch, on. Called it. Yeah. Come out from that log. Twitch, twitch, and boom. I thought there'd be one there, and it didn't take long to find it. Oh, I'm on two. I got one and Toddy's got one over there. Oh, is he out? Yes, he's out. Good. He had me in that grassy stuff. Got him out. You still got yours? Oh, good fish. Awesome. Great fish. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yep. This is just too easy today. That's my number 10. I wanted to get 10 today, and I'm probably not even halfway through the um, 12K stretch. I'm probably like 5Ks in, and that's number 12, uh, sorry, number 10. So, very happy with that. Might get 20 if I'm lucky. Toddy's got about four, I've got 10 now. And we've missed a whole bunch as well. Plenty of top water strikes, short strikes. Plenty of action all around. How pretty is this stream though? Straight out of a National Geographic magazine, I reckon this place. There wouldn't be that many people. Oh God. Oh, he got me under a rock. He's out. <laughs> Mate, it was really interrupted by this fish. I was about to say, there wouldn't be that many people in Mackay who's been blessed to see this magical spot because it does take a fair bit of getting to. It's fairly off the grid, hard work getting to it. But some of the places we have on our doorstep, amazing, and most of the people in this town don't even know it's here. Just got to get out and get amongst it. And you haven't hooked them? Uh, I hooked two, sorry, hooked three, lost two. Hooked three, lost two. Landed any? Landed one. He's a good fish. Yeah. Good patch through here. I told you this is the best bit. This guy hit like a train. Got me under a rock. I felt the, the leader rubbing on it. Look, I got him out. Got him out. Come on. Open your mouth. Ow. It's biting me. He's all right. Chunky little nuggety football, this guy. All right, as you were. Oh, it's all good fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. I was half asleep then. He woke me up pretty good. Only a little guy, this fella. But aggressive, and plenty of them. Gee, there's some numbers in this pond, in this pool here. Such a great section. I, I was just saying, this is my favorite section of the stream. And this is why. So many fish, but it's just a beautiful place as well with all the 
deep water, the boulders, the palm trees. Really pretty. Hey, chill. Oh, Today I'm using my Semeroy Infinite, 6 to 12 pound. I'm using a 3000 spin reel, 10 pound braid and 12 pound leader. So I find 10 pound to be plenty for sooties. Leader you could go from 10 pound up to 20 pound, depending on the country you're in. I'm opting to use 12 today and it's fluorocarbon. So it's, it's you know, for this clear water, it's pretty important that you use a line that's relatively see-through like fluorocarbon is contains the same mirroring qualities as water and it's more abrasion resistant too which is nice because that last one did have me around the bottom of that boulder felt it chafing and it's not the first time today I've had the line around logs and things and it's um it's held true so we're gonna turn the GoPro back on for a double hookup I just got one and Toddy's is lying on the deck little guy there there he is yeah, g'day guys, just signing off from today's session. I've literally got 7% battery left in my GoPro right now, so I've got to do my outro, even though we're only halfway through the day. I can't believe how much it's been chewed, but we've caught a lot of fish, and that's why. So we're doing this one now on the phone. If we do get a few more fish, I'll tap back into the GoPro. I've got 7% left. So, want to say, awesome day to this point we're only halfway not even i've caught 12 toddy's caught five we've got a whole bunch more hits been an exciting day we've used top water and we did get a few this morning and then it did definitely slow up and as soon as we changed over to little hard bodies little atomic um atomic shiners in the 60 mil the bites were just one after each other so got the first three in the first couple of hours then got nine in the last hour and a half i feel um so it's been awesome Massive shout out to me, mate, Eric from Six Knots over in America, mate. Thank you once again for the shirt, guys. Check out the website, Six Knots. Awesome fishing shirts, really nice apparel, T-shirts, hats, stubby coolers and the like. So that's it from me and Toddy. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, I've literally got 5% battery left. I did me outro before. I said I might save this for the last little bit little bit of battery and this is the last little patch I'm currently at 21 fish 21 sooties I was hoping for 10 and I was hoping for 20 I've just surpassed that at 21 my PB for this section is 23 in a day so I'm aiming to beat beat that now get 20 oh yep oh I had one oh. so that's 21 now aiming for that 24 now but this hole is really good deep water big logs when the battery runs out, it runs out. Let's see what else I can catch in the next five minutes before the battery goes dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Good one. Oh he's a good one. Yeah, he's a nice sooty. Oh, He's the best of the day. I knew there'd be one here. I knew there'd be the quality ones in this patch here with the big timber and the deep hole. He's a good one. Ew!